What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. I am back with another one for the sisters. We are going to look at a video from a non-Muslim woman. And I'm going to focus a lot on these non-Muslim women, but aiming it at sisters. And I'm going to tell you why. Because these non-Muslim women, they've been in the world that you want for yourself. Meaning this feminism, this uh, progressive, modern relationships, uh, these egalitarian relationships where housework is split in half or, you know, your man goes to work and come home and he works more, he cooks, he cleans and all this type of stuff. Non-Muslim women have been there and they're sick of it. While you clamor and crave and cry out and demand it and it's not my, I don't have to do it and I don't have to this, that, the other, my right, this, my right, that. And nobody's saying you shouldn't have your rights, but understand there are women out there gunning for men of the ummah men who are doing what they're supposed to be doing while you are trying to come up with excuses and reasons not to do what you should be doing so um let's take a look at some of this uh at this one video i came across and it's important that you ladies see this stuff and you hear it because th there's another thing here you can't be mad at brothers i mean you can be mad at them but you can't blame them for considering non-muslim women over you pay attention just pay attention. Now ask yourself if you before we go into this, listen to this woman talk and then listen to yourself and what you've been saying, what you've been thinking, what you've been telling brothers, what you've been saying online or what you've been putting likes on online in terms of I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, you can't do this, you can't do that. How have these crazy demands that you're putting on brothers compare yourself to her to her and mentality. Just let's do it. with your man and you're not paying no bills, <laughs> and that house isn't clean, you need to go. <laughs> you need to leave. He already obviously isn't an organized person if the house is messy anyways, and he's already paying the bills, so make yourself useful. Yeah, make yourself useful and organize all his shit. <laughs> all of it, from top to bottom, every drawer. It'll take you one day if you really dedicate your time. Boom. Tell me she's not right. He's paying all the bills. What are you doing? Now, y'all sisters always saying, uh, I just got to stay at home and this, that, the other, and just, you know, and I have to do this and I don't have to do this. And, and here's the thing. Islamically, yes, you're correct. It's your hack to just sit at home and do nothing. But what you are obligated to do is be prepared sexually for your man. But y'all don't even want that nowadays. Now y'all are talking about marital rape. So now y'all just don't want to do anything. So like she said, make yourself useful. But that's the problem. Most of you are lazy and therefore useless. And that's what you want to be. You want to be lazy and useless. What you want to do actually is live with your dad. Don't act like you want to get married. You really want to live with your dad. Because if you're not going to be prepared for him sexually and you're not going to cook and clean or whatever else, well, then what are you doing? You're living with like, yo, he's got a roommate. He doesn't have a wife. You're useless. You, and most roommates are more useful than, than you because they pay rent and they tend to clean up their mess. And they cook for themselves. They don't have this expectation and the demands. Ah, well, I don't have to cook and clean. You come home and you cook and you clean. He's got to go to work, wash his work clothes, cook his food, prepare his own lunches, and then hopefully get to score. While you do what? And then you, and then you not only that, you demand like these crazy dowries, these crazy mahars, in order for him to win this prize of a woman that you are? Anyway, let her continue. Cleaning on the sides of the house. Clean that shit up, bro. <laughs> You're not paying no bills. You're just chilling. That is my dream. <laughs> This goes back to what I was saying just a minute earlier uh, in the intro. These women, they want men like that. And when they find out Muslim men do that stuff, guess what they do? I, you see it here in Germany a lot. They understand that Muslim men handle business. By hook or by crook, they handle business. You know what they're doing? They're aiming for Muslim men in these major cities because they know what's up. And then y'all are mad when you're losing out to women like this. They're like sick of the struggle and you're sitting here i want to go to work and i don't want to do this and i want to do that i want to be independent da, 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 da. okay all right a girl like this 
takes care of her health, takes care of her fitness, stays pretty. Guess what? She wants what you have and she's willing to do something for it. You don't want to do nothing for it. Who do you think is going to win? I'm tired of paying bills. And y'all be living with your boyfriend not paying nothing. Nothing at all. Those bitches like me paying everything and cleaning everything. So if, if you're going to be there, at least make yourself useful. I'm dead ass serious. Or somebody like me going to come scoop in and organize everything. So there you go. Make yourself useful. Now, I don't know where this idea amongst Muslim women came from of being useless, because really that's what you are. Again, you don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. You don't want to be sexually prepared for your man. And then to top it off, he can't have a co you can't have a co-wife or you get to leave. What, what exactly is his benefit in being with you in tune of? 50 plus thousand euros or dollars if you include uh, a, a moderate maher nowadays and a moderate marriage. That's moderate if he gets away with like 25,000 maher and 25,000 wedding. What's his benefit? Help me do the math. Make this business deal make sense to me. Let's see it from a business deal. What is he getting out of all of this? And you got a woman like this. She ain't ugly. She's like, yo, I will come and cook and clean for your man. I will make myself useless. And you're mad now because he, in his mind, is like, you know what? This, How can I marry this non-Muslim woman? You're mad at him for even thinking it. Y'all sisters out here mad. Oh, you can't marry that. She's a cap here. This, that, the other. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You start coming up with all these angry speeches. But then when it's time for you to actually handle business and get the man who's considering a woman like this, who wants to bring benefit to his life, Now you want to get upset. Let me tell you something, sisters. Oh, look at the non-Muslims. Look at their lives. Look at the world. That, that, that's, that's the future. And I got a video about this, too, about how many people, uh, how many women in the future, uh, at least on a non-Muslim statistics. I don't know about the Muslims, but I'm pretty sure it's close to the same uh, because we seem to be following the non-Muslims hand, hand span by hand span, like the Hadith said, you know, it, it, the percentage of women that are going to end up single and childless in the next 20 years is insane. And okay, granted, a lot of you have children, but you're a single mom. Ooh, that's great. Look at the statistics on single parent households led by the mother and how dysfunctional the children usually turn out. It's not a win. It's not the one you think it is. Sisters, get your act together. I can't tell you how to be a woman, but I can definitely tell you how to get a man uh, and, and keep him happy. I, I can tell you that. That's easy. And one of the first things you can do is bring benefit to his life. Bring benefit to his life because he can bring benefit to your life. You, you're going to live rent free, just chilling, doing nothing. Well, not nothing, but really in comparison to like going to work eight hours a day and what it takes to organize a house a few hours a day every week for free rent and food clothing and you get your halal get down on top of it and you have let feminists fool you into thinking that it's somehow an oppressive bad deal and guess what all those women out there who have lived that experience of the feminist west and how great it is they want out and guess who is offering what those women want? Guess who's selling what those women are buying? Muslim men. Since this competition is going to get steep, especially in the run-up to this upcoming uh, recession, yeah. <laughs> you wait and see. When the comp, you're going to find that non-Muslim women, when they find out that Muslim men are out here looking for women, they're going to be converting at a faster rate than they already are. And your competition is going to be like this. Because pretty women are everywhere. But responsible, dutiful men, they're not. And right now, right now, right now you have the market on those men and you don't appreciate it. See, man, I'm American. Do what